Hi everyone, welcome back to the Pikmin 2 playthrough. I am now in the Dream Den, and this is actually the final cave, and basically the final area that I will be exploring in Pikmin 2. The Dream Den is a... I'm, I'm almost certain the Dream Den is 12 floors long. It, it might be something else, but if it's that long, it means I'm spinning off this video at the 6th floor. Or maybe the 7th one, because uh, the last floor is going to be particularly long to deal with. Anyway, for this floor, there's lots of orange bulb orbs everywhere, but in this randomly generated level, I believe they got generated in a way that makes me, that allows me to ignore most of them. Uh, looking back on the footage of the last video, by the way, I somehow lost one of my red Pikmin through one of the spotted jelly floats, I think? Maybe. It, it was kind of strange. I had 18 reds, and then all of a sudden I only had 17. Kind of bothersome. Uh, just getting rid of all the dwarf orange bull borbs in the way right now because they're quite irritating. However, it's important to remember that I really only need to get the treasures. There are 21 in this cave. I know so because, well, that's uh, the amount of uh, treasures I have left to find in the game. Uh, well, to bring these Pikmin back, I have to make them go through here. Um, hmm. I guess I'll get rid of this thing first. Alright, nothing complicated. You just have to maneuver around the enemies and make sure none of your Pikmin get caught between them. Obviously, creatures like the Jelly Floats and... Well, actually, not all that much the Jelly Floats, but... Definitely the craw mads, you definitely have to watch out for. And make sure the way is clear for bringing the treasure back. And don't forget to look up at the ceiling with the bird's eye view when you're bringing something back, because you never know when something will drop. Uh, hmm. I think that'll be it. Only one treasure for this level. The sky is delicacy. Alright, level 2, there's... oh, great. Okay, here's one of the most particularly annoying Gatling Groinks. I said before that Gatling Groinks on, like, they're stuck in one place are not that dangerous, but... In this case, this one is particularly is. Simply put, because it's extremely difficult to damage that Gatling Groink. Among other things, I have to take care of uh, all the dwarf bull borbs around it, too. Uh, I do, yeah, I do have to defeat the Gatling Groink itself, though, because I'm almost certain it has... Hmm, do I really want to chance it? My purple Pikmin. Uh, sorry if I'm going to lose a few, but... Oh, dang it. Come on, purple is stuck. Jeez. Finally got... To see a hairy bull borb in action this time, it it didn't do much, but we saw it move around at the very least. I'm gonna leave. Yeah, whatever. It's fine if they actually carry dwarfs back. I'm gonna try to get the, the rid of these dwarf bull borbs using Holy Man. Thing is, I want to use Holy Man as a distraction too. While the president takes the yellow Pikmin. Preferably the yellow Pikmin. You can use other Pikmin against this thing, the Gatling Grunk up there, but I think it's preferable to use yellow Pikmin. It might also be preferable to try to use your Ultra Bit of Spray to help along this thing's defeat. Because it's quite annoying to defeat. But yeah, while it's distracted like this, you can easily miss your target. <laughs> While it's distracted like this, make sure your, most of your Pikmin went up with you. Start throwing the yellow Pikmin easy on its thing's back. Drag up all the ones that are stuck. Repeat process. That's how you defeat it. R relatively easily. Have one of your captains distract it, then bring the thing down. Actually, you know what? I'm going to ignore the actual Gatling Growing's corpse because, well... I only, I'm only here for the treasure. 
Once you leave the level, it, the Gatling Grunk itself won't matter. Nintendo 64! The implement of toil. Manual Honer. All right, level three, electrical hazards, and plenty of dwarf bull bears. Hmm, I wonder what that means for which creature we might see in this area. In fact, look at the behavior that of that uh, dwarf bull bear right there. He seems to be trying to follow something, and yet we can't see it. I wonder what it means. I'll tell you what what it means, guys. It means have that ultra bitter spray ready. Getting rid of the electrical hazard first. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. Ah! That's... Ugh, goodness gracious. Well, I also petrified the bomb right there. And I just... Oh, great. I lost one Pikmin to the Abyss. And... That's it? Where's the other Pikmin? There's what? Pikmin that I that is somewhere. I don't, oh, right there. All right, okay. So I lost one Pikmin to the abyss. It was a purple Pikmin, I bet. No, it was a yellow. Okay, whatever. But yeah, that dwarf bull bear is one of the most dangerous ones just because it drops from the ceiling. And I, I didn't remember about the bombs that dropped with it, so that's why I panicked a bit. But you definitely want to use an ultra bit of spray on that one because there, it, it ambushes you practically. It starts in your Pikmin like six at a time or seven at a time, I don't know. But it eats your Pikmin really fast and you just want to petrify it to deal with this thing with no losses. And that was the only treasure I had to get, so <laughs> just ignore everything else. Oh, and look, it's this design again. Except this time we got a bunch of Anodi beetles and cannon beetles to deal with. Well, time to play it safe, really. Unfortunately, the cannon beetles cannot get, defeat the, the uh, Anodi beetles for you. But you can take care of the cannon beetles using the power of all in man. Alright, that's one down. I can use uh, the cannon beetles to help along the process here using their own rocks, I think. Hmm, alright. Since the treasure spawned next to the next level, I think I can ignore safely all of the everything over here, really. Let's take care of the Anodi Beetles in a way, as well as the Cannon Beetles that I did not defeat. Hmm, that thing actually regenerated its, its HP, didn't it? Because I, I remember damaging this one. Huh. Kinda neat. Didn't know that these uh, Cannon Beetles actually regenerated, but I guess they do. Careful. You especially want to be careful when it's about to do its, uh, when it's about to push the Pikmin in front of it, though. I think that's it, actually. Yeah, just bring the treasure back. Make sure none is going to drop from the ceiling. And I should be done. The mirrored element. Yep. Okay. Lots of fire things here, and lots of uh, bull borbs. Do I have to take any of these on, though? I don't think I do. It's over here that I have to go, because it's obviously the fire bullbacks that has the treasure. It always is. Um, hmm. Oh yeah, uh, other monsters can alert uh, the fire bullbacks, by the way. That's why the one in the previous cave got alerted. Quite irritating, too. Um, if the floaty blowhog or whatever it's called is defeated or rather brought down while it's over a pit, it's instant death for your Pikmin too. You, you guys realize that too? It, it will kill the puffy blowhog instantly, but you know, it's a bit cruel to do them to make them do that. It's actually a witcher blowhog, but I keep calling them puffy blowhogs all the time. Because that's basically what they are. And I really don't like what that watery blowhog is doing. Standing near that fiery bullbacks. And I, I guess the fiery bullbacks saw me right there. 
Can I make them fa all fall into the abyss? Can I possibly make the fiery bullbox fall into the abyss? I don't think so. It, it, it's actually not big enough for that. But if it's possible to make the fiery bullbox fall into the abyss, I want to try it. Uh, I'm not sure if I can make it fall into the abyss. It'd be quite fun, though. I don't think there's any hole big enough uh, for where its area is, though. Oh, I guess there's right here. Yeah, I think I can make it fall into the abyss from over here. Come on, buddy. I'm right over here. Welcome to the abyss to me. Bye-bye. <laughs> and once it falls in into the abyss, you guys see the puff of smoke down there? That's where it died. It l releases its treasure back up here. That's a very, very cheap and easy way to take care of a pretty dangerous enemy. The insect condo. Yep, and that's it for this level. Hmm, this place again. However, there's no palleted snag right here. In fact, it's a bunch of cannon beetles and jelly floats. Uh, hmm, I guess I'll play it safe. Just use a few purples to take care of everything. I could also use the cannon beetles own uh, cannon rocks or whatever they're called to actually defeat the jelly floats using a few Pikmin to bring the jelly float down. But uh, that takes quite a bit of work and I don't think I want to do that. So instead... Ooh, gotta take care of all the cannon beetles first. No chance for them at all. And with only the jelly floats left now, it means I can easily bring all my other Pikmin to defeat them. And obviously it's the greater spotted jelly float that has a treasure. A pretty neat one too. The future orb. Yeah, I may have said that I would have uh, only done a few, uh, like, six levels in this video, but I think I can do a few more. Anyway, kind of a bad spawn right here, <laughs> right next to these uh, puffy blowhogs, but fortunately most of the enemies here aren't actually very uh, aggressive. Oh, great. How did I miss the puffy blowhogs so often? Ah! Let me go, bubbling snitch bug. Oh, bump, 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 bump. Bumping snitch bug, get away. Why can't I hit you with the purple Pikmin? Ah. Mr. President, please stop getting caught by the bumbling snitch bug. Hey, it is way too high right now. There we go, finally got it. Okay, <laughs> that was a pretty uh, ridiculous start of this uh, level, but I think I've recovered now. Okay, it was the dirigi bug that actually did that. I thought it was a bomb that dropped from the ceiling randomly. Please get rid of this puffy blowhog. And then the other one, because it obviously has the other treasure. The only treasure, probably. And then... Get out of this place that is incredibly dangerous for me and my Pikmin. Essence of Desire. Correct! Only one treasure per level right now. Can I... Oh, I need my Pikmin. Okay. Okay, I swear, this is the last level. Sub-level 8, last level I do. And it's actually a pretty neat one. The one filled with the Dweevil's airware and... Maybe an occasional different creature, but point is, take care of the dweevils, make sure you avoid getting stuck at all the hazards, something like that. That's what this level is all about. Uh, I don't like how close that thing is. How did my 
yellow Pikmin get stuck down there. Oh, because they're dumb. That's what, that's what they are. I guess I should have the yellow Pikmin attack this hazard from the other side. There we go. Time to get rid of this thing. Okay, good, good, good. There's two treasures here. You don't have to defeat all the dweevils, but I would recommend it. What's important though is what you want to watch out for is all the electrical hazards. There's a lot of them. Uh, this maze-like area, there's hills you can climb up to, uh, like right here, that are kind of sort of kind of shortcuts. But it also will probably, if you go through those hills, you'll probably like lose a little bit of Pikmin that will get stuck in the way. So beware. In fact, bringing the Dweevil corpses back is not a bad idea. I mean, sometimes the Dweevils might actually take a Dweevil corpse for themselves, and that kind of helps. But also, well, like see here, this poison Dweevil that just took this. Uh, Blue Dweevil Corpse uh, as it's uh, you no know, protection. And you know what? I'll leave it be because of that. Because I don't care about the Dweevil Corpse. What I want is that pumpkin head. Make sure the Pikmin carrying treasures back are not going through the hazards, though. Primary reason why you want all the to have all the hazards uh, dealt with, especially the electrical ones. Possessed squash. Still one more treasure in this place, though. Uh, at least one more treasure. It's right over there. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't think purple Pikmin, purple leaf Pikmin at all, can even climb these hills. That's how slow they are. Ugh, I don't like where that Anodi Dweevil is. Why did I throw a purple? Jeez. I guess it's because I want to defeat the Anodi Dweevil first. Surprisingly enough, the Electric Dweevil doesn't care to take that treasure as protection for some reason. At least not yet. Fortunately, Paralyzed in place, or Stunned in place like that, really helped me get rid of it. Now, these Pikmin will be smart and go through... yes. Go through this way to bring the treasures back. And why did that purple leaf Pikmin decide to bother that poisoned weevil? It appears the poisoned weevil actually wants to take for protection the treasure I was bringing back. Fortunately, that I got rid of it. Yeah, I think that's it for the treasures here. Maybe? Yeah, I think that's it. it may, there might be another one though, like hidden under the ground. Extreme Perspirator. Okay, that's it. In fact, okay, in that case, uh, this is a good cutoff point for uh, this uh, cave because, well, I've been playing for over half an hour. Next time, the rest of this cave, which means the rest of this game, and the end credits, really. So, hope you all enjoyed this video and hope you all have a very nice day. Bye bye.